In what ways is God near in comfort and help the brokenhearted? In Psalm 34 18, we find a powerful expression of God's closeness and comfort to those who are suffering or brokenhearted. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. This verse reassures us that God is not distant or indifferent to our pain, but is intimately close and actively involved in our healing. Historically, the theme of God's nearness in times of sorrow is a recurring promise throughout the Bible. For instance, in Psalm 147 3, it says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, showing God's role as a healer. Additionally, in the New Testament, Jesus reflects this characteristic of God by showing compassion towards the hurting and marginalized, like when he comforted the widow at nine by raising her son from the dead, Luke 7 11 to 17. There are also biblical examples where individuals experienced God's comfort in their distress. David, who authored many of the Psalms, frequently wrote about God's deliverance and support during his own trials, such as his escape from King Saul. Another example is Job, who despite immense suffering, experienced God's ultimate comfort and restoration. Here are three main takeaways from Psalm 34 18 for us today. 1. God understands our pain, no matter the source of our heartache, God is keenly aware of our struggles and is close to us in those moments. 2. God provides healing and salvation. The comfort God offers is not just emotional but often leads to healing and deliverance from our distresses. 3. Seeking God can bring comfort scripture, we can experience His peace and presence more profoundly. In summary, God's nearness and readiness to help those who are suffering is a central theme in Christianity, providing reassurance and hope for all who are facing difficult times. Greg Gaines Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Digital Missionary, Foster Parents, Welcome to our family https colon slash slash jesusleadershiptraining.com slash about a slash.